So today I'm going to show you uh, our mesh radio operation. So here we have three mesh radios which has connected and uh, formed up a three load network. And here we have the MagNet 3516 mesh radio. And uh, here now I'm going to introduce the interface. Here we have a two mesh antenna interface. Uh, this mesh radio is based on MIMO technology, multiple input and multiple outputs. Here we have the RTA45 input, and uh, it is based on waterproof connectors. Here is the GPS satellite antenna interface, and here we have a signal indicator which is uh, green and uh, red, two colors. Here we have the power button, push to turn on or push to turn off. And here we have the 4G uh, antenna interface, which is uh, used with the SIM card here. Uh, now here is the PTT push to talk microphone input interface. And here we have the Wi-Fi antenna interface. Now here is an HDMI input, uh, which is also waterproof. The whole radio is based on IP66. And uh, here we have a LCD screen to show the device status. You can see the background, background noise and the mesh ID and the IP address and the frequency and the bandwidth. Also the connected devices. So this device ID is a term here. And uh, you can see it has connected with uh, uh, 19 and 12. Okay. Uh, so here is a logo, Link AV logo. We can also laser your logo here, which is OEM customization. Uh, here we can also put your product name and model number. And here, now we have a buckle for battery easy replacement. Here you can push to check the battery status. Uh, five means full, and uh, if only one means that uh, it's uh, almost running out of power, and you need to recharge. Here we have the SIM card slot. You can so you can in insert SIM card here, which can connect the radio to the 4G public network. And here we have the battery charging port. And uh, you, you can see the camera is connected into the RJ45 port here through the cap cable. And here we have the microphone push to talk. I'm going to show you to talk to the whole network through the push to talk microphone. One, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, you can see the voice is broadcasting to the whole network. If you have 10, then 10 people will listen to, to, the, to the voice. And uh, so this is broadcasting. And now we will show you the uh, Web UI management and uh, PC software management. Firstly, we will show you the uh, web UI management. First, you enter the account and uh, password. Here is the IP address, and you click login. Okay, now we have the main interface. You can see here the menus. 
system message, value settings, network settings, advanced settings, system settings, system tour. And uh, in system message, you can see the device line name. You can change the name to whatever you like and the uh, firmware version, the MAC address, IP address, uh, LAN model, etc. And uh, on wireless settings, you can do the parameter configuration. So here, this card one is for Wi-Fi and uh, card two is for mesh settings. So here you can change the bandwidth and uh, frequency and uh, power output. The maximum power output is 30 6 dBm, which is uh, 4 watts for this radio. Also, this is an um, advanced DSS modulation. You can close it or choose open it. And uh, in System Tour, you can choose uh, upload firmware for upgrading. Okay, now I'm going to show you the PC software management. Click the uh, icon and uh, start the uh, software and uh, enter password. Click login. And now the main interface will show the network status. Now you can see there are three radios. Here you can see the signal net strength and uh, data rate between each radio. Um, this radio, we also have English version and we can put your logo here also. So like the web UI, you can click this uh, setting icon. In this, uh, you can set the Wi-Fi and the uh, mesh frequency, bandwidth, and uh, power output, etc. And here you can view, connect this to view the view the video. So you you see we have uh, two cameras connected, and you can double click to see the full screen. Okay, that's all. Thank you.